Each and every dress in this collection is a queen. Each and every dress could lead a show by itself. I think every girl who wants to feel sexy and confident can wear a Dan Cohen gown. There is a variety of gowns in the collection that maybe any woman can find herself in one of the gowns. I think this was my favorite Berta collection ever. I thought the dresses were sexy, um, they were revealing but not too daring, and um, I thought a lot of girls could wear a lot of the dresses. The beautiful collection, and to give something to go together with the dress. It's very easy to think about something clean for the front, and a little bit loose in the back. Something every bride can go with us. She can look very strong and simple. I like the simple. This is what I do. Her whole thing was about dimensions, and the lines are giving dimension to the eyes. We're doing structured brows, structured liner, nothing on the lips. Think retro Cleopatra, Liz Taylor, and the focus is on the eyes, the eyes and the brows. Each and every dress in this collection is a queen. Each and every dress could lead a show by itself. It's all about dimensions and the fact that these dresses are so different, one from the other, and they all blend together into a beautiful, beautiful collection. It shows us that we are surrounded by endless dimensions and we are the ones to choose how to live our lives and what dimension do we want to connect with. The dresses are sexy, but classic. The beading, the fabrics, the silhouettes, the shapes, the variety. There's a dress for each and every bride out there. Nina Tournay always does an outstanding job of overdoing it in a way that your jaw just drops. And for girls that want that kind of moment where all eyes are on her all night, you gotta go with a Panina dress. I really love the detailing on the backs of the dresses. I thought that was great with the illusion so that you're not worried that it's gonna fall down like with the sleeves, but it really just had that tattoo-like feeling with lace or crystals, and it did like a nice picture frame on the back, and I thought that was stunning.
for a bride to wear one of her embellished and ornate huge ball gown, everyone's just gonna be like, oh my God. The ball gown with the layers to it, it's huge. Where is she sitting? It's kind of like Scarlett O'Hara at the barbecue. It's like she takes over half the area. It's interesting because you feel like you have like an exhibitionist kind of bride on you, a girl who really wants to flaunt her fabulous figure, but Panina's dresses fit girls of all sizes. Whether you're a thin, thin girl or a bigger girl, you can show off all your curves and you know push out what you want to push out and suck in what you want to suck in because her dresses have a fit like nobody else. their dream, it's their dress. So I'm there to serve them and help them feel their best for their most important day. There's nothing more classic than a ponytail. It has a detail through the back, but just soft, easy waves. Once we put on these elastic cords, before we tie it off really tight, I'm just going back through and loosening so that it looks kind of soft and romantic. It doesn't feel like the hair is constrained. We created a highlight and a contour, but using the same colors on the eyes and cheeks. The eyebrows are brushed up and filled in. There's a little bit of a brown line happening underneath the eye and into the waterline to give it a little bit more of a youthful kind of romantic look. We're blending it out really well so that there's sort of just an essence left around the eye. And then for the lip, we're taking the lip out using a nude lipstick and we're just tapping it on to the girls as opposed to using a lip brush or straight from the tube. So the girls' lips are kind of floating down the runway and I feel like the light is just hitting in all the right spots. The first thing of the collection is the inspiration. The inspiration was from queens and princesses during history.
she wasn't a queen, but I even go through Sarah, our mother Sarah, it's the wife of Abraham. So you can see this kaftan gown that is well like, you can feel like old days, but still very chic. Most of my gowns are lace or beaded, and the beading I'm doing all in handmade beading and using all micro beads, that super tiny beads to make it very light, that every bride who will wear it doesn't feel it's heavy, she can feel very good in the gown. I think every girl who wants to feel sexy and confident can wear a Dan Cohen gown. There is a variety of gowns in the collection that maybe any woman can find herself in one of the gowns. I like to do very sparkly embellishments and I'm creating my own fabrics. I think you have always to be interesting, so I really like to combine ready-to-wear elements in the gowns, like in evening gowns or wedding gowns. I think it's make it very interesting, very chic. I'm trying to do it the, the interesting as I can, the sparkly as I can, but the look should be very fun. It looks different, so I like to look different.
Berta was very specific about this particular girl and that she didn't want the girl to look bridal in a way. So what I thought immediately was that it couldn't be just a simple bun or just anything simple. It had to be a little bit more intricate and a little bit sexier. So what we wanted to do is create um, a little bit of movement in the hair. By doing that, we, in we incorporated three cornrows in the top of the head. And after those three cornrows, we messed it up so it didn't look so perfect and then put in this really beautiful kind of sexy bun in the back of the head. The look today is very clean. It's very clean, focusing on flawless skin. Um, we have a great highlight on the models. And for the lips, we wanted it bold and poppy, just to give it that boldness and put a lot more focus on the face. So 2017 is all about the natural bride with a pop. The inspiration came from the world of flowers. I took this rich and colorful world and brought it into my own world of creativity and art. I hand embroidered flowers into the dresses, which were made from a hand-picked selection of a special variety of fabrics. This attention to detail has allowed me to produce these beautiful creations. The colors of the fabrics are nude, blush, and stone. They are lace fabrics, brocades, silk embroidered with roses. The uses of 3D flower embroideries lead this collection, but also all of the handmade details, the beadwork, and the combination of different fabrics. Incredibly sparkly and complex trains. All of these things make for a beautiful show. I love the collection. I think this was my favorite Berta collection ever. I thought the dresses were sexy. Um, they were revealing, but not too daring. And um, I thought a lot of girls could wear a lot of the dresses.
I think that it's just really a great look for girls that want to be a little bit revealing but still covered in the right places. And I thought that you can move and you can dance and just have a great time in those dresses. I look at the human body, the female form, and I want to emphasize the most beautiful aspects of the woman. I want to emphasize her curves and to bring her to a place where she feels bigger than life. This is what I see before me when I'm designing a dress. are like my children. I pamper and take care of them all. I really don't have a favorite. Each dress is unique and singular.